Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my out of box review for the HG Iron Blooded Arms Mobile Suit Option Set 4 and Union Mobile Worker. So, as usual, there's a couple things I want to get out of the way first, and the First thing is that I want to say a big thank you to Mind Phoenix Hobby Store, as always, for supplying me with this kit to share with you guys. Really cool set, so I'm looking forward to sharing this with you guys. Uh, the other thing is that usually every time, this is the fourth set now, and on every single video that I post about these option sets, people are telling me, don't you mean I HGIBO instead of HGIBA? No, this is HGIBA because this is Iron Blooded Arms, not Iron Blooded Orphans. These kits do have a different name. They're not called HG Iron Blooded or Orphans. They're called HG Iron Blooded Arms. Hence, I label the videos as HGIBA. That is on purpose. There is a reason for that. So, just to make that clear for everyone out there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this moving around. As you can see, it is all molded in this same kind of light bluish, grayish, purplish color. It's the same color as the inner frame of the Gushan as well as the Kimaris. And to be honest, I mean, this this option set is basically for the Kimaris. I mean, we have this, the majority of it, 80% of what we have in the kit is just that booster unit, which is specifically for the Kimaris. You can use it on other kits, though, if you want. We'll take a look at that momentarily. As you can see, the only other color that we have here is going to be the purple on the tips of the booster, and that is done by using a series of stickers. Not really very great. I think the 100 scale is going to do it a lot better because it's going to be color separated. Uh, but, you know, it's not too bad. It wouldn't be too bad to mask those parts for painting, so you can't really complain too much. We do also have that sword, which is meant to be used with a graze, but again, you can use it with pretty much anything you want. And then we have the Union Mobile Worker, which is nice, but it's very simple. Um, so, you know, it doesn't have a whole lot of articulation or anything like that, but yeah, it's nice. So we'll take a look at this stuff uh, applied to their respective kits in a moment. First I want to just go ahead and show you the mobile worker. Again, as I said, it's very simple, very cute. It is going to articulate a little bit, just the turret at the top. I thought this part was going to rotate as well too, but I, yeah, that's wrong, sorry. Uh, only the turret part here at the top is going to rotate, and that's the only thing of articulation that we have, nothing else on this move. So again, we do have a small peg hole here on the bottom that you could use uh, if you wanted to do some diorama or something. If you want to have it flying, that would be quite useful for that. Otherwise, that is pretty much it. I mean, very simple, little mobile worker. So obviously going to be a lot of painting required to get that to look color accurate. As we can see, if we refer back to the box here, those are the colors that it's supposed to look like, and here's what we've got. Obviously going to take a little bit of paint there. And then here is the sword. Very simple, but I do like it. It is just one piece. So that is it. I do like the handle there. I think as I said in the unboxing as well, I like it because it's sort of like a mix. It's a basically kind of medieval looking sort of sword, but it definitely has a little bit more modern spin to it with it being like very angular here in the handle like that. So I do like that about it. This should look pretty cool. And then we have of course our booster. So as I said, each end here at the tip um, is made up by four stickers. One sticker on this little curved part that sticks out on each side. One sticker just for the end there. And then one big sticker that sort of wraps around here you can see there's the seam of that sticker there in the center above this little vent part. That vent part doesn't move. The only thing on this that does move is this whole lower part is going to move like that. And then the whole parts themselves are just going to move because these are on ball joints here. So those are going to move around. It's just going to plug into the back of the Kimaris. You're just going to have to remove the backpack of the Kimaris and replace it with this. So why don't we grab that and do that. So here's our HG Kimaris. Just going to remove this backpack part, which is just like that. It's going to sort of expose the inner frame of the Gundam there, which is pretty cool. And then this just plugs in in its place. And there you go. That's it. It's actually sticking off the back quite far. There's quite a big gap there, which I guess is good. It gives you plenty of room for these big shoulders to move around there. 
So that is how that's going to attach onto the back of there. Really simple. So I gotta say that is one fast looking Gundam there when it's all posed with the legs opened up and that backpack booster unit on there and the uh, big sort of fins on the shoulders pointed out too as well. Here you can see I've chosen not to give it its lance for the moment, just basically here just to demonstrate how it's going to look with all of those boosters in action. And as I said, this is going to be compatible with other Gundams as long as they're sharing that frame or as long as they're sharing the same connection point of the two pegs on the back. Wouldn't be difficult to modify this if you wanted to use it on something else as well, but I think it's still probably safe to say it's still probably going to look best on the Kimaris. And as you can see, you are going to have to do a little bit of painting to get that sword to look the right color. It is looking a little bit weird in that color now with the grays. But just a little bit of paint should be no problem just to make that sort of gray or metallic or whatever you want to do. Personally, I would just probably go for just plain gray to match the frame of the grays. But yeah, I gotta say, it does look pretty good with the grays, so I'm quite pleased. And that's pretty much just about going to do it for my review of the Option Set 4 and Union Mobile Worker. A uh, really nice set. I mean, it's very specialized. The majority of this is going to be for the Kimaris. If you don't have an HD Kimaris, there's really not going to be a whole lot of point to this. I don't think anyone's really going to want to spend the $6 or more uh, to get just the mobile worker or the sword for the greys. I mean, even to scratch build a sword like that for the greys would be relatively simple. Anyway, my point is, if you've got an HD Kamaris, this is a really great set for it. Uh, it is going to require some painting, it is going to require some seam line removal, but it is an HG, so that really shouldn't come as too much of a surprise for anyone. Anyway, that's just about going to do it, guys. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you have any other questions or comments, leave those down below. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.